Okay, so <clears throat> someone asked again, sticking with the, the video game fights, if I would have the two Nintendo mascots battle each other. <clears throat> so of course we had Link on one side, Mario on the other. Now I'm using only the Nintendo games, so not including hacks. So the first means you have two games for both characters. Super Mario Brothers 1 and 3. I'm from America, so Super Mario Brothers 2 for myself was Doki Doki Panic, which is not a Mario game. Well, right, they did have a game called The Lost Levels, which actually is Japanese 2 for Americans The Lost Levels. So we're looking at Super Mario Brothers 1 and 3. For Zelda, I mean for Link, you have Legend of Zelda 1, Legend of Zelda 2. Now we can do these differently, just based on the way the, the games are set up. I really can't have them do things like I would for the, the comic characters. So I'm looking at intelligence. This is the perceived intelligence of the character. You know, it's difficult to do in older games with your platformers. Strength, speed, defense, range, versatility, X Factor. So we begin first one with intelligence. There isn't a lot that you can go with when it comes to, to Mario. But Link has the ability to talk to lots of people. There's a lot more puzzles in his game. And he actually has the ability to learn magic. So I will say Link definitely has a better advantage when it comes to overall intelligence. Just bases the way they're portrayed in the game. So I'll probably put bits and pieces of the manga, but at the end of the day, it's still kind of... You know, Mario is a, a plumber who gets transported to a land where, depending on how you read it, the people have been turned into blocks, and other people have turned into mushrooms. Strength. This is when you're on a Mario. If you actually look at the animation frame, he's actually using his fist to dislodge blocks in the sky and occasionally break blocks. He also can break them with a raccoon tail. That's a tremendous amount of strength. Not to mention that he can pick up almost any enemy he can, and he can run run and throw them. Speed. Also Mario. If you look, you can hold the B button and get a tremendous amount of speed when it comes to Mario. Mario actually runs, which is a really tremendous advantage. Defense. You can give defense to Link. Probably because he has, beyond him, an overall life bar, he has a shield. He has shown that the shield actually can block most of his fireballs. So, if a fireball gets shot at him by Mario, he can probably block it with his shield. The shield has a tremendous amount of defensive capabilities to it. As well as that, he can take a couple more shots. He also has the magic to help back this up a little bit as well. Range. I had to think about this one. You know, on, on, on one side, you've got... <clears throat> Yeah, on one side for Mario, you've got the ability of the fireballs, the hammers. That's really about it. You look at that standpoint from Link. With Link, you've got the following thing. You've got the boomerang. You've got the magic sword blast. You have bow and arrow. You have the fire spell, which actually allows them to, to do fireballs as well. So I think that range, I have to, again, go with Okay, this is the, see, the weird thing is, like I said, I'm actually reversed, so if I do this hand, it's actually that hand on the screen. So I'm going to go with range. I think Link has a lot more range capabilities. You know, Mario with a fireball, or the Hammer Brother suit. Hammer's at a weird arc. With the, the Fire Flower, it's a, it's a bouncing projectile. Either way, one shot, and they go away. With Link, yes, one shot wouldn't make him lose the Magic Sword Blast, but he would still have the Boomerang, he would still have Bow and Arrow. It's also the magic rod, too. So there's a lot of other different things you can do from range. Versatility. You know, if you look at everything these guys have access to. So for Mario, it's Mushroom, Fire Flower, Super Leap, Tanooki Suit, P-Wing, Frog Suit, Hammer Suit, Star. Where's it? Here's what Link has. Looking at predominantly his, his uh, attack-based items. Boomerang. Magic Sword Blast, Bow and Arrow, Bombs, Fire Spell, Life Spell, Jump Spell, Reflect Spell, Thunder Spell, Spell Spell, Magic Rod. So he has a tremendous amount of tools that he can bring to the table. X Factor, I'm going to this one to Mario for the main reason of, I mean, out of everything he's got there, the Mushroom is one more shot. The Fire Flower, depending on game, is one of the two more shots. Super Leaf, two shots before he's dead. Tanooki Suit, he can turn to stone. 
can buy them sometime. It's it's just a short lived ability. Pee wing, give the ability to fly. Frog suit won't help him that much. I know you could also have the boot, but the boot doesn't really help him that much either. Hammer suit, again he can block, he can dodge, he, he can block, which the shell body have for defensive capabilities. But I thought prayer is come down to the star. So these two were to face just their Nintendo version, so Mario Brothers 1 and 3, uh, Zelda 1 and 2. I think Link has a tremendous advantage when it comes to the overall intelligence, just that's pretty much because where he is in his in his world. It's more a puzzle game, so it requires a little more thought than a, than a platformer. He has much greater level of defense. You know, beyond the fact that he can cast spells to recover some of his life, he can cast spells to reflect projectiles, he can cast spells to reduce the amount of damage that he takes. Range, he has a lot more just projectile attacks that are not uh, not entirely relegated to how much damage he, he sustained. Versatility, you know, with, with Link, the game is about traversing areas and grabbing items. And X-Factor, I do think that if Mario were to get a hold of the Tanuki suit, he'd use it for good defense. If he were to have the Hand Brother suit, he'd use it for good defense and a decent amount of offense. But the star, I think, is what would really, really allow Mario the ability to, to defeat somebody like Link. 